Christmas YouTubers, Raven T Vinyl here. So glad that I finally got a moment to wish all of my uh, friends on YouTube and of course the zombies a uh, happy, happy, merry Christmas and wishing all of you the best for the New Year's. Um, what a month! I cannot believe we're four days from Christmas. Today's the 21st. Um, I was doing really, really well until a couple of snowballs came my way. Um, like Sideshow Tink, I had an emergency root canal, so that kind of sucked. So that, that's been taken care of, so in the new year I'll deal with the cap. Um, my car broke down totally. I've been driving the same truck for 17 years, so I bought a brand new in 1995, so it totally bit the dust. I always said when the repairs are going to be well over a thousand, it's time for a new car. So they were going to be well over a thousand all said and done. So I'm like, bye bye truck. So I did go out and pick up a new used car. So Merry Christmas. <laughs> so I'm going to have car payments for the first time since 2000. <laughs> that should be interesting. So anyway, so that's kind of what's been going on. But other than that, the holidays have been fantastic unusually warm weather in Ohio. I mean, again, the rain. Oh my gosh, I think we've broken all records for the amount of rain we've had this year. Uh, we had a small snow flurry Saturday. Uh, temperatures got up to 60 today, so very unusual, but um, I'm okay with that because I don't want the gas bills. So, <laughs> but as always, like everybody, a white Christmas is a pretty thing, but you know what? My Christmas has already been beautiful, so I'm okay with that. One thing I got to do yesterday that was really amazing, um, I was asked by a friend to spin at a local retirement center. So I took over two record players and I played 78s and 45s and it was one of the most appreciative audiences I've ever had. They were singing and clapping and they came up and shook my hand afterwards and thanked me and I thanked them for letting me be a part of their holiday. It was a really magical, beautiful experience. If you have an opportunity like that to, you know, spend some records for um, the people in the retirement centers, I highly recommend doing that. It's, it's fulfilling for both parties, so. Um, um, record finds, oh my gosh, I probably haven't done a record find video since mid-November, so it's impossible for me to even remember <laughs> what I've bought, but um, I do want to share some highlights. So we'll put Santa over here. Hopefully, no, he, he's not going to stay up, so I'm going to smash him, Tink. Anyways, a um, day after Thanksgiving, the record store day, um, I got the Lost Straight Jackets doing uh, Hark the Herald Angel Sing, Very Ventures. Um, eBay, it's going to be a possibility for my uh, Christmas CD. It did not make it, but very cool to own. On Mercury, the Blues Magoos with original sleeve doing Jingle Bells, of all things. Um, this was so difficult to find. Uh, Lee Ving, the group Fear, which was a punk band in the 80s. Um, he did Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. Um, on The End Records, there were only 200 copies pressed. <clears throat> and again, my friend in Pittsburgh came through and got me a copy, so I was really excited about that. Spoonful, check this out. Look at that, N Records with an original sleeve. I have never seen an N record sleeve. Chris Van Gelen, that neat. Um, I had to buy the 45 to get the sleeve, which is what I wanted really bad, but still a great 45. When You Wish Upon a Star on N Records, Little Anthony and the Imperials. Um, a thing I got on eBay, I got eight of these. Oh, these are so beautiful. These are Vocos 1949. They're all these cardboard uh, Christmas picture discs. Um, and they all came with their original envelopes. None of these had ever been played, but still sound quality on them is really dreadful. I've been meaning to post a couple of them and every player I've played them on. They're so muddy, you can't even understand the words, unfortunately, which is sad. Maybe they're disintegrating, I don't know. Deck the halls. I'm not going to show you both sides in the essence of time. This is so beautiful. Santa's Toy Shop. Like I said, they all have these mailing envelopes. This is really pretty. A letter to Santa Claus. This is awesome. The Christmas Punch and Judy Show. Wow. Oh, this is an awesome song, too. Um... 
Hark the Herald Angels Sing, Silent Night, very beautiful, beautiful graphics. Oh, I love this so much. Twas the Night Before Christmas, look at that. Oh, these are so pretty. Yeah, very lovely. That's part one and then that's part two. So I don't, pretty from what I've seen on eBay, I almost have everything from Voco, I think. So um, here was another one that I bought off on eBay. A Letter to Santa Claus, very fun. Oh, it's out of the way. Then, my last purchase on eBay. Those were like $9, I paid like $9 for that. This was like eight bucks. Look at this tape, that's so cool. It's like a book, Peter Pan Records. It says four records, Christmas album, 78 RPM. Your favorite Christmas songs. And then look, you open this up and look. <laughs> Really, really fabulous. Not 100% excellent condition, but what a cool thing. I've never seen this before. It's amazing it survived. 1957, so your typical song, Silent Night, Jingle Bells, blah, 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 Deck the Halls. But I just like how unique it was. It's fun to collect these type of things. Um, what we're listening to right now is called The Wonderful World of Christmas. It's on Capitol Records. Um, it's various artists. All instrumental and strings. Very pretty album. I got this in the free bin. I want to say last year or the year before. It's the first year I've played it. I've got it on the Mac box. Oh, I love it. Um, Christmas present from Otis. Check it out. Yay. Bauhaus. 12 inch doing Bela Lugosi's Dead on Small Wonder Records. This is 1979. Oh, I've been looking for that forever. Scooey gave me another 12 inch I could never ever find on Manhattan Formula Records. Judy B doing Love is Just a Game. Oh, this is a great disco ditty. Really rare record, 1982. <laughs> Thank you, Scooey. Um, another thing I got uh, the day after Thanksgiving for kind of like the record store day. Civil War, Tracks in the Snow, it's a 10 inch. Um, I'm sorry, but I find them very boring. <laughs> it's very quiet. I don't know, I had to give it another listen, but check out the vinyl, pure white, very lovely. Um, it's a Christmas song they wrote. I know they're really popular right now, and I'm, it hasn't caught my ear, so like I said, I'll give them another listen. Uh, this is fantastic. A brand new Kate Bush album, 50 Words for Snow. I did buy it on vinyl. It only has seven songs on it, but it's a double album set. Um, the vinyl does come with a beautiful 20-page booklet on excellent paper and the CD. Very quiet album for her, very pretty album for her. I love Kate Bush, so I was very excited by that. Haven't had a moment to listen to this. Um, slowly weeding through records, and I took a big chunk in and did a trade with Dan at Used Kids, and I got brand new Merle Haggard working in Tennessee on vinyl, and it comes with a coupon to download, um, I have not done that yet, on Vanguard Records, yay. Surprising find um, from Spoonful. Soundtrack to Beetlejuice. Soundtrack written, the score written by Danny Elfman. Yay. I want everything from Danny. I really want Pee Wee's Big Circus on vinyl. That would be awesome. So that's really about it for Raymond. I just wanted to, you know, squeeze in a minute and wish everyone a Merry Christmas and peace be with you.